Hello, motherfuckers! It's Friday, it's nine o'clock, and it is time to be cunts. Um, welcome, one and all, to the Comedy Roast at Hot Water Comedy Club. Uh, hello to everybody that is a regular here, that's watched from the beginning, that's watched loads of shows. It's great to see you all again, uh, already getting active in the chats. Uh, getting active in the chats, I sound like a fucking cam girl. Check yourself, Freddie, what the fuck are you doing? Feel free to donate and you might see a nipple. Um, uh, if you're new to this, if you don't know what's going on, if you've tuned into this on a whim, then let me quickly tell you what this is. It's a live interactive roast show. And so if you are somebody who is a little bit sensitive, maybe you've got sensitive little nipples, or maybe you just don't like certain subjects being talked about, that's absolutely fine, by the way. You know, you do you, but you need to know from the off that this is not the show for you. So don't be one of those people that's like, oh, I really, I, I'm going to watch it, but they better not mention dwarves. I really hope they don't mention dwarves. And then we go and talk about dwarves. Um, uh, and then, <laughs> don't be that don't be that person just know that this is a show where nothing is off limits uh, if you're okay with that then by all means watchers if you aren't then fuck off uh, right okay now that that's out of the way let's bring in my fantastic co-hosts uh, give it up for Rob Mulholland and Brennan Reese. yo uh, <laughs> take your camera off take your camera off How's it's it going, guys? Is, it's got Hello. rid of all those people that, that would have been offended. Hello. You okay? <laughs> you know, I'm all right, cheers, yeah. Do you know what? I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you a story of what happened to me on the train here. And this isn't one of those fucking hack stand-up comedy stories from 2012. Um, all right. Yeah, you all like your stand-up from last year. <laughs> I was on the train. Um, I'll tell you what happened to me on the way here. I got a £50 uh, fine for having one of my feet on the seat in front. Wow. But to be fair, it was covering four seats. <laughs> was there a sticker on the train with like a, a, a trotter with a line through it? <laughs> Sir, can you please remove this leg of lamb <laughs> no food on the train <laughs> this is making me feel much better actually because i'm fucking well pissed off because i got two of the biggest jobs worse in the and i hope they're watching i really I don't hope think there will be <laughs> <laughs> i don't think this will be their vibe i hope that i i for oh my god God, I fucking... It, they were just so like, can we take your name and address? Uh, fuck off. Which um, name did you give them? Like, because you've got a few, haven't you? <laughs> I gave them um, Brennan Reese. <laughs> Great. <laughs> They'll probably oh, be watching. Oh, daddy chippy tits. <laughs> yeah. I think they wrote it down as Brennan Reese's pieces. Great, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you can do, though? Like, because you've lost 50 quid. But do you know what you can do if you want to earn 50 quid? All you've got to do is share. Share the thing. Share the thing. It's just <laughs> share. Oh, to be I fair, see. like, Freddie, like, at least you can look at it like this. This is the first and only time in your life that you'll lose 50 pounds. <laughs> oh, that was good for you. Well done. Thank you very I, much, um... mate. I was hoping that we could use the PayPal donation this week as like a uh, a crowdfunder so I don't have to pay the 50 quid. I mean, I doubt no. that we will get anybody that's interested in that. But at the same time, people crowdfund for all sorts of fucking shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but like paying for a fat con to put his feet up on the train is probably lowest of all of them, surely. Yeah, but I'll live much longer than them kids going to Disneyland. If anything, it's a... <laughs> It's a worthwhile investment. And besides, I haven't worked in four months. I could fucking well do with 50 quid. <laughs> yeah, and to be fair, like, you've got to give that foot nice treatment. You've only got it for about six more months, haven't you? Before the diabetes cuts in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Cool. So uh, uh, we've not sent any uh, pictures. Have we sent pictures in? This oh, week? yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just done it. Like, um... You've just done it. I haven't. I haven't sent one in uh, because I've been really busy uh, getting fined fifty pounds and <laughs> fucking the system pretty hard. And um... that is a whole lunch budget for you, isn't it? Fifty quid. <laughs> <laughs> to be to be fair, if I went shopping, uh, did the food shop and paid fifty quid, I'd be fucking ecstatic. 
Yeah, yeah, that that'd be a fucking meal deal for you, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, it's not necessarily because I'm like a overweight individual. Um, it's because uh, come on, let's let's say what it is. You're a fat cunt. You're no, a fat it's fat not. Cunt. No, it's not You're necessarily. You're a fat cunt. It's You're a fat cunt. Chubby oaf. Right, <laughs> you're a fat sack of shit, you double lad, you jiggly titted mess. What it is is it's because I quite like like really Cakes nice food and pies and... <laughs> and rubbing together thighs. It's like a real doll thing. <laughs> it's like a Lewis Carroll poem. <laughs> the fucking Jabberwocky chins. <laughs> <laughs> I love how uh, the comments have already come in thick and fast. Uh, is that Dr. The... Seuss, the fat in the hat? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Right, let's get. God Almighty, this has been a painful start. Let's let's get the first <laughs> let's get the first picture up, shall we? <laughs> oh, oh shit! Uh, so oh, this that is, is that is amazing. This is my that first is... ever Facebook profile photo. This is what we've done, me and Brennan. We found our first ever Facebook oh, photo. No <laughs> way. Yeah. And like this was when Facebook was invented. <laughs> what? I That's... love London. I know. Why do you why do you love London so much, Rob? Tell us. I was living in London. For, I'd been living in London for about a week. <laughs> Shit, how old are you how old are you there? 18. No way. Yeah. Do you know what you look like? You know when like um people traffic people from Romania and they give them like the first t-shirt when they <laughs> arrive in the UK. <laughs> like I'm in Calais in a tent. Exactly. The t-shirt they've got left. Some poor Romanian prostitute wearing that. I love lots of, you know. <laughs> it was the style at the time. Everyone wore slogan t-shirts. It was a oh, thing. Man. It was I 2005. Love a slogan. I love London is never been a slogan. Ever. Ever. So, it is in Camden Market, mate, apparently. <laughs> so where is that T-shirt now? And more specifically, what uh, African child is it keeping clothed? Because that definitely got donated to Cathod or something like that, didn't it? Oh, a long time and ago. They, and they yeah. were like, this is a bit big. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's some kid in a village in Namibia going, fucking love London. London's great. <laughs> With a Ukrainian accent. Yeah, of course. Yes. I love London. I hate, in Malawi. I, I hate risking I ain't risking that one. No chance. Oh, do the accent. Nope, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'll do it off um, I'll do it off fucking camera. Um I so love to fill you in. I was this is in my student halls, which was above an Iceland on the main road in uh New Cross in South London, and I'm drinking Frosty Jack out of that cup. Oh, but you, like it's like the cup that you get at a dentist that you spit out with, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. I love London. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a, that's not a heart. Uh, like that's actually just a badge I got for doing well <laughs> at the dentist. <laughs> why? Why? Why have you got both a fringe and a mullet? <laughs> and it, it was 2004, mate. Uh, like hairstyles were wild back then. Um, it yeah. looks like someone's put a cancer wig on the moon. <laughs> Well, like the Dreamworks moon, not full moon. Dreamworks Victorian nose. I know, moon. like boy sat on my chin fishing in the pond. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah like there's a reason I grow a fucking beard. <laughs> oh fuck! I mean, the way you're dressed then, it sounded like you needed a different type of beard. Fucking hell, you. You look like you put the hoe in Soho. <laughs> <laughs> I do look like a proper little rent boy, don't I? <laughs> you got to pay that London rent. <laughs> this is it, man. It was expensive. I had to get through uni somehow. <laughs> Playing beer pong with pints of cum. <laughs> I don't love London anymore. <laughs> London loves me. London, London don't, don't love, love you, you, kid. <laughs> what a... <laughs> What have we got oh, here? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. God. Fucking Christ. It's Panic at the Gay Disco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Panic at the Roller Disco. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Look at that fucking waistcoat. Oh, I love it. I, like, you definitely thought that you looked like you were at, like, Gerard Way or something like that, but you just look like a valet. I look like the Mancunian way. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Jesus Christ. It's, I'm honestly, I'm honestly speechless. 
Yeah. How long did that hair take every day? Because your hair is very oh, curly normally. It's really curly. Like GHD, well, fake GHDs within an inch of its life. You cracks. Doing, doing GBH with your GHDs. <laughs> yeah. uh, when, this is a question that I have. Uh, when did you meet Tom Hardy's afterbirth? <laughs> Man what? looks like a fucking king what? Edward <laughs> fell over. <laughs> oh, look at his little fucking cravat. I love it. Were you guys in a band or did you just want to look like you were? Uh, yeah, we just wanted to like feel like we were like, indie. We were probably going to Snobs, the nightclub in Birmingham. And I'm about 18 here. Um, I lost my virginity at 22. I don't know if you can guess why. <laughs> Do you know wow. what? Was it the eyebrows? It was probably the eyebrows that were stopping you, wasn't it? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I reckon if that face popped up on Tinder, you'd both swipe right. <laughs> like, I've definitely woken up next to worse. <laughs> we're not worse dressed, actually. No, no. Like, never were. Facially, never I'm a seven. Were. Clothing what? wise, what? I'm a two. Black sack and crack had stuck it to his head. <laughs> Like, I bet I didn't, but, like, looking at it, I feel like I had a deck of cards in my pocket. Yeah, oh. you definitely, you've got heavy teenage magician vibes about you. Like, there's definitely, yeah. like, some flowers up those sleeves. <laughs> I, have you got a pocket watch in this photo? No, I never went that far, but, like, I did once get a, a, a long umbrella. Do you know Secret Jesus? <laughs> oh, you no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love a prop. I love it. Russell Brand was highly influenced in this, and mm -hmm. he's done a lot of bad things in his life. Some allegedly, but this is the worst. This, this is the is worst thing he's ever done. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's really, it looks like it, 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 the 2010 Top Man fucking vibes that this photo is giving off it's unreal, is unfucking believable i love it there's another picture that's coming up here and i'll tell you what if nothing else someone just put is it busted from 2004 <laughs> <laughs> the fucking faces are busted busted by your dad as you're being bummed by your mate <laughs> <laughs> never mind it's what i go to school for if you had gone to school you'd go to a better uni than birmingham um <laughs> It's Let's a McFly get... tribute band called Fuck Guys. I was nearly in McFly. <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> look at this. You look like you're in the fucking raccoons. <laughs> you can't call them anymore. Come cycling out. <laughs> you're going to come cycling out of a fucking tree stump. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look mate. how short your fucking tie is. Oh, my God. This oh, is. Are you working as a fucking usher in this photo? <laughs> I don't know. This... I think this is a choice for a night out. This is Look at your the... little leather wristband as well. Oh, you are such a little ponce. This is the picture that they will use when Bradley Wiggins gets cancer. <laughs> look at that. You look. Why do you look like an old woman? Like it's insane, isn't it? Like you got a proper mecha bingo hair. Oh, you have definitely. And the cardi as well. The little right. tie. New fucking thing that. I'm... Oh, someone's. You dress like Diane Keaton. You look like Diane Keaton in the seventies. put. Jamie Moore's has put. Why is your neck a veiny cock? <laughs> Jamie, why is your cock a veiny neck? That's what I want to know. Um, right. Quick question. Um, why the fuck are you holding a drink like a fucking... like a fucking... What are you doing? A Jaeger mom, like you're a fucking sommelier. Like you're gonna yeah, oh, it's it. a vintage, vintage year, mm. and it really this... blocks out the piss in this revolutions, yeah. Mm. Is this the 1997 Red Bolt? <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. So many mistakes made there. There's a lot. I, I, I love that you got a little name sticker. Are you are you speed dating at like 17? <laughs> Have you already given up this hard? I think this is Freshers Week. Right. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. Mine they, was Freshers Week as well. They they give you that sticker when you leave your umbrella at the cloakroom. <laughs> This, uh, it, if you if you zoom in on that sticker, it says Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I was that much of a cunt. It probably says Doctor Whom. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've got a novel in your back pocket in that photo, haven't you? Yeah, never read it, yeah. but I'm carrying it around. Yeah, I'm just, my favourite book is uh, Lolita. Does that say Jamie? <laughs> I think it does. It says Jamie. Are you wearing someone, the fuck are you someone, someone else's name badge? It says Jamie Moore's. I was I was always after you, mate. No, it's, it says 
It says, Gem Le Penis. Oh, mate, this is fucking brutal. Do you know what? Right, I'm going to tell you something. I don't have any pictures from my Freshers Week. And the reason that I don't have any pictures from my Freshers Week is because yeah. I fucked up in college. And the only university that I could afford to go to was the University of Central Lancashire, which is in Preston, where I'm from. So during <laughs> Freshers Week. To uni. So, so during Freshers Week, I just went home. <laughs> that, was, that was it. I just fucking went home. And that's why wow. there's no pictures. That is it was not like, unique. Hi, guys. Who's up for a night out? I am, because my mum will make me bacon butties in the morning. <laughs> um, oh, sweet. We've got fucking Carol McGiffin on the... Oh, no, it's Brennan again. Uh, <laughs> sorry. He looks like about four different loose women at the same time, doesn't he? He does, does it? He looks like all the loose women fucked Mick Jagger. <laughs> they fucking love that. <laughs> right, uh, we've lost Brennan. We've lost, we've lost Brett. This picture of Brennan is now is now Brennan. All right, cool. Like to be fair, it'll contribute about as much to the show, won't it? He looks like an artistic painting. <laughs> Do you know, like an impressionist painting? Oh, we've lost. Oh, oh I'm back. Hello. Hello, you're back. You're yeah. back. Brennan, I for a minute, oh, no, Brennan's still. Thought me, we haven't right, had a technical okay. problem in a little while, have we? This is. Um, I know, it's just spicy, gone. isn't it? Fuck him, eh? Well, no one did till they were twenty. How did he not get eight till? I know he's two? really good looking. Like I got looked, I got I got laid well earlier than that, and I did not look like Brennan did. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is when you look at somebody in a waistcoat, you know, you think they are out of my league. You know, <laughs> do you know what? Is he pulled off that waistcoat? If 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 I wore it, it'd look like a fucking corset. It would have been oh, it would have been amazing. He would have looked like the fat controller. <laughs> <laughs> and if I was the fat controller, I wouldn't be charging people fifty quid for having their fucking feet on the seat. Mersey rail, you fucking cunts. Um, not that I've um, imagine. Imagine if uh, imagine if Brennan was like literally now. This was his breaking point. And he was just uh, like, yeah, this is yeah, his and suicide. He'd, actually, he'd, he'd, gone, he'd gone, oh, you know what? That's a really good picture of me when I had a middle-aged woman's skin. Um, gonna... and <laughs> I like, really... I'm, really, I'm really proud of this photo where I look like I've just dropped my kids off at school. <laughs> Mate, his, his, his fucking face looks like a Michael Kors bag. <laughs> fucking amazing i'm gonna get his head fucking for What's... someone's birthday it's absolutely dreadful oh my god um but oh, oh i think, he's, I think, I think he's, he's back yeah i think he's, I think he's he back is. we we genuinely thought that this might be the moment where you were gonna hang in yeah we thought you know. we thought we'd pushed you too far brother i tried um i tried finding a cravat to hang myself with but <laughs> <laughs> but the most dapper suicide in town um, do you know what? As well, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but fuck it, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mention it now. For those of you that watched last week, um, we spoke to a guy called Drew, and we spoke to him on live chat. Uh, you weren't here, Rob, but you missed an absolute uh, fantastic yeah, one. Yeah, and... no, I was sad to miss it, but I was having one of the best nights of my life. Ways well, going well, up. well, well, <laughs> Drew, Drew was a gay man, and he'd only. Oh, no, in the oh, no. uh, oh, sorry. Right, no, no, you had to wait till I was gone to get one on. Just yeah, like, you knew I'd be kicking one in, off. One out system, like <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. He um, he was the happiest gay man that you have ever met in your entire life. That's uh, a pretty like, high bar, I'd have to he say. He was super fucking yes, uh, and he was loving life, right? And mm. it turns out that he'd been out of the closet officially for like two weeks, oh, and he wow. was going. I know it was great. Uh, well. Depending Which on whether or not you depend on whether or not you're his parents, you know. Two weeks um, in gay terms, though, is like it's like dog years, isn't it? That's like, <laughs> like that um, so I'm going to tell you, we're, we're already getting questions in the comments about how did the date go. I know how the date went. Oh, so he went on a date, right? He, he went on a got, date that the next story. day. Sorry, he went on right. a date the next day. Yeah. Um, and we know how the date went because yeah. God bless Drew. We love Drew. He took a selfie of him and his date, and. Um, uh, he, he sent that to us and told us what a fantastic time that he'd had and how much he enjoyed it. And my Amazing. fucking heart skipped a bit. How beautiful is that? Aww. So Drew is alive and well. He's loving life. And from the sounds of it, he was fucking knee deep in cock. Uh, Honestly, God, <laughs> thinking about how lovely he is, it makes my ass bleed. 
Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys could contribute to that abomination against God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what you, and, what and the doctor said to your parents. <laughs> um, uh, so, shall we uh, Shall we get cracking with the next one? Let's get cracking with the next one. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, I haven't seen it yet. I've got to wait for this to come up. I've got a bit of a delay. Oh, my God. Oh, hello. Oh, oh there's one. Brain cells to this fucking bus. <laughs> Is this when you were called Tubby? Because it was a fucking accurate name. Oh, my God. I can't tell whether you're fatter now or not. Uh, no, I'm not fatter now. Can you look like like how with your then? eyes? How is that even up for debate? How do you know about eyes? We can't even see him in that fucking cesspit of flesh. <laughs> J- J- Jamie Moores has put, there's a man on who needs his own Mersey Rail carriage. <laughs> <laughs> like, mate, I can hear this fucking picture because like those steps at the frog are quite steep, so you're going to be wheezing pretty fucking hard in this picture, aren't you? Oh, what are, you are you doing a gig in your dressing gown? Like what's going on? Here? <laughs> no, I had a I had a loose fitted cardigan because <laughs> unlike fucking Mr. Waistcoat over here, when you're a certain size, it's better to just be baggy with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, and when you've got when you've got a really set off the t shirt with a slank it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put your fucking top off QVC. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there two more armholes, Freddy? It was a sharing one. Uh, it's a cardigan and it's still got an elasticated neck. <laughs> Gra- Grant Reed has put Peter Griffin, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> come on downs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus God. Christ. You fully look like a lorry driver who's just like trying to decide which uh, sandwich to get deep fried to go with his chips. I was going to say, what bus route did you work on? <laughs> he didn't work know, on it. He just stood in the street shouting at cars. Do you know what I will say? And this is me roasting myself, but I think it's accurate. Is I think it's more common that you think for people to have a double chin, but it's not common for people to have a double neck. <laughs> right, it's like you're wearing a car tire as a necklace <laughs> i look like this is why i've got a beard because my neck looks like one of them fucking frogs you know what I, like come, when i say one of them frogs i mean a, a frog, frog. <laughs> it's, like it's not like only some frogs can do that it's like a shakespearean rough of fat <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, if, if Eskimos hunted you, they'd store that for the winter. Yeah, like, do you know when you get those people like you could like Leo the Lion or whatever the fuck he was called in Pussy's Foot? I wonder how much you would have to like pay to get to hunt Freddy. Well, um, to be fair, it'd be a short hunt, wouldn't it? There wouldn't be much of a fucking chase. <laughs> Lily, uh, you just Lily, walk down to the KFC. Lily Luden <laughs> has put, looks like the guy who hits on you at a bar then calls you a slag when you walk away. Yeah, oh, she's met you then. Well, well I mean, Mate, to be like fair... you like that swam up the Thames. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I mean, I mean, I mean. To be fair to to be fair to Lily, she is thinking quite highly of herself, and she thinks I'm hitting on that. I saw a kid in that picture, and that is, I'm all I'm already carrying enough baggage on my fucking neck. Do you know what I mean? Mate, I love your fucking facial hair choice in here. Like, you look like Craig David if he ate for all seven days. <laughs> <laughs> So good. So uh, fucking hell. I like Lily. She's commenting back. I like Lily. She's giving me a bit of shit. I like her. Yeah, good, good on you, girl. If she's got kids, she's one of them gobby bums. Do you know where you go? Yeah. I bet her boyfriend gets to have anal every night because her fanny's a bum hole now. <laughs> <laughs> to be, the one I mean, knocked it through like a conversion for the kitchen living room. <laughs> It's all the same fucking room now. There's it's a nice It's lovely. Uh, they ran out of fucking rope to stitch her up with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, right. Oh, that's... The fucking bubbles are kitchen diner. <laughs> with an island in the middle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
right. <laughs> should we uh, should we get cracking and uh, look? If you want us to, if you want us to roast you, uh, and we've got ages to do this, if you want us to roast you, what you do is you send a WhatsApp to that number right there, uh, a picture of you holding a sign that says "roast me," so we know that it's you. If you want to get involved in the live video chats, and they are the best ones, uh, send us no. a WhatsApp to that number and say that you want to get involved in the live video chats. Please, let's have someone live video in because they're always so much fun. Right, let's get our first submitted picture up. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I mean, people say black don't crack, but beige does age. Fucking the most boring man. <laughs> Mate, that is a fucking... Aldi fucking decoration, if ever uh, Aldi fucking IKEA fucking decoration, if ever there was one. Mate, How this is in a is... hostel. He's in a hostel. <laughs> He's in a hostel situation. Like, it's about like you know, Jesus Christ! Like, this is the most featureless fucking man. <laughs> Scott Scott McCockburn says, looks like a default character on Sims. <laughs> man, you wouldn't pick this cunt out of a lineup of one, would you? Oh no, this this guy is free to take any crimes that he wants, and people. Yeah. He's like, can you he's describe like the Hedman. man? Um, he was a man, I think, uh, about uh, white. Um... About white. <laughs> about white. <laughs> about white foot high. Uh, white foot wide. Um, did he have a beard? Yes, he was white. This is like, right, it looks like a Spartan if the film 300 was just about a load of Romans really easily walking into Sparta. <laughs> so this is Sparta! Welcoming! I, like, do you reckon he watches things like um, SOS Who Day is Way? Oh, SAS, yeah. not SOS. Yeah, and he comments on <laughs> them like he's watching the foot. He's like, oh, that's not how you do it. Uh, that's not how you do it. Actually, uh, what you want to do there is a one-finger death grip uh, on the neck. Like, he definitely talks loads about pressure points, which is bullshit, because if they existed, that's how every UFC fight would end. Exactly. Yeah. They'd just go, nah. And then they'd uh. <laughs> <laughs> His pressure what? point is um, a fact that, that his parents don't love him. That's all you got to say. <laughs> what do you reckon his job is? Unemployed. Um, but like, <laughs> no, I reckon he has anything. a job. I reckon he has a job that he thinks is dead interesting, but actually is dull as fuck. Yeah, like he's definitely going to talk to you loads about like, right? No, the thing is, you've got to get in on the ground floor with futures investing, right? Uh, I wanted to talk to you a lot about cryptocurrency. I'm really expanding my portfolio, and what he means is he's bought a scratch card and he's really fucking open. <laughs> <laughs> he's the dullest man ever i hate this man can we yeah can like we... I, 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 yeah i don't like him as a man uh, do you know I, what I guess... it's funny it's funny because we've gone we've we've <laughs> we've been like hey guys uh make sure that your pictures are dead interesting we want the most interesting pictures and the first one is the beigest fucking thing that no. i've ever seen in my life that is quite interesting, managing to make a photo this dull. Like, having just nothing of interest about you at all. Like, why did he go, ah, oh, like, to be fair, he does have a little child's hand. There is that. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks, he, he looks like he tastes of potatoes. When, <laughs> when was the last time you reckon he went outside? Like, he's what? definitely dead into the MMORPGs. Oh, yeah, he, he'll be shouting at kids on Xbox Live and all that. Yeah, yeah, he like, plays League reckon... of Legends. Watches other people play League of Legends online. Do, like, do... he loves watching people play on Twitch. And he's do going, reckon... use the pressure points! Use the pressure points! <laughs> do you reckon he's underlined roast me twice because he's literally got nothing else to do? <laughs> <laughs> his facial, ex Jamie Moore's here. His facial expressions caused by him trying to think of something interesting about himself. That's <laughs> him being wacky. That's like... Oh yeah, I'll throw some personality into it and go. <laughs> he's, he's, it just he looks, looks like he's got peanut butter on the roof of his mouth and he's he trying looks, to get it off with his tongue. It looks like he's thinking about which white t-shirt to wear tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely all that's in his fucking wardrobe, isn't it? Oh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. It looks like he's fucking high in his... and tight. High and tight. High waisted. One belt. Let's go. Jeans and he, shoes. He looks like a male Karen. I totally fucking get that vibe. Yeah, I yeah, totally yeah. get that vibe about him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What reckon, what's, what's a male Karen's name? Phil. Phil. Yeah. He looks like a Phil. He yeah. does look like a Phil, doesn't he? Yeah. He's a Phil or a Mark or one of them. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know. with one T. 
<laughs> it's ironic because the thing that he really wants to fill is the void in his fucking soul. He's the most <laughs> boring dude. Uh, let's get let, now. We'll 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 move from this guy onwards because he's uh, making us fucking sick. Uh, I will move <laughs> to somebody that is. Look at the mate. effort. Let's just look at the Jesus effort Christ. That this look at right. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're wanting to see. None of your fucking. Oh, look at facial expression. This guy's upside down. He's putting pubes. <laughs> like, it's, it's yeah, clearly... it looks like if Peter Parker was bitten by a radioactive woman with a hairy pussy. Mate, you know that. You know that uh, in the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, where they do that upside down kiss. Like this is the X-rated version, isn't it? They come ah. down. It's like. <laughs> yeah, just goes down even lower, and they're like, "Hang on, I thought we were kissing." You go, "You are, that's mate." It's Spidey sixty nine. This is <laughs> this is how Phil got his beard. <laughs> um, Lily, so, Luden, no, no, this is an appropriate costume because my Spidey senses are fucking tingling. That is a fucking nonce. <laughs> Lily, Lily, Lily Luden smashing it. She's saying, "My working mum, Fanny." <laughs> 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 love how she's laughing at herself. I love it. <laughs> very, very good. Uh, is this the same guy who did like the Harry Potter one a couple of weeks ago, skiving off again? If yeah, he's boss, fucking amazing. I, I love this guy. This guy's a fucking legend, but one day he is not going to have a job because of us, and I'm super proud of him for this. Jo he John Harper has put, is that my local pets at home? Uh, yeah. Yes, it is, John, and those are your local Russian dwarf hamsters as well. <laughs> Someone say coming to your local uh, coming to your local job center. He'd be fucking swinging in through the front window, wouldn't he? <laughs> Let's get me some fucking job seekers allowance. <laughs> So oh, if we could have a look at your uh, your CV, uh, Mr. Says Spider-Man here. I don't think that's your real is that, name, is, is that, it? Is that Mr. Speederman? Um... <laughs> Speederman. <laughs> Speederman. That is such a comic name, isn't it? Actual real name is John Speederman. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, we'll never, we'll never catch that. Um, here's a question for you, right? Because he is sp sporting the mother of all growlers uh, on that sure. photo. So let me ask, uh, let me ask Brennan first, and then Rob. What where do you stand on hairy vaginas? Are you pro or con or little bit or full on or nothing at all? I mean, I'm quite pleased to be there in the past. So I'm like <laughs> Just it, happy to be there. <laughs> it could have two balls and a cock on it, and I'm still like a Brazilian's a Brazilian and knock it off. <laughs> so you're not bothered at all. So if it was if it was that level of her, you would still go for it. I mean that those pubes could do with some fucking conditioning. Like that, <laughs> that's a dirty dry, funny, yeah. <laughs> I, wonder it looks that, like... I wonder if that factory has Tresemme. <laughs> it looks like the girl from the rings trying to get out of his fanny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. Uh, I like, what, uh, what about you two? What do you, what's, what's your uh, uh, like, pubic will... stance? I will absolutely smash any vag going, uh, but like obviously, right? It, it's more difficult to work with uh, when there's more hair. When when there's a lot of hair, it becomes like you know fighting through a thicket in order to get to your destination. <laughs> it makes things more tricky. But if that's how you rock, fuck it. I'll work so with what you got. Are you, are you suggesting, Rob, that one of the problems with a excessively hairy vagina is that you're worried you'll run out of cock? <laughs> no, I'm worried I'm I'm gonna blunt it hacking through it. <laughs> With a I, tiny machete pen knife. <laughs> I I like a bit of bush, me. I like it. I like I like a woman to be a woman. Do you know what I mean? I don't like I don't well, like I mean I think we all do. <laughs> well, yeah, but the thing is is it's when 2020, already, I don't give a shit. You be whether you want to be. When, when, when you already give off massive pedo vibes, you can't yeah. go, I want a completely hairless vagina. It yeah, just fucking... No, no you, need, you, need, you need hair on a vagina as, like, receipts. Just to be like, look. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. loud. Uh, I audit it. I keep it for tax purposes. <laughs> you keep a little baggy of it. <laughs> yeah, a little fucking... Helen. 
Oh, that's so funny. I mean, and absolutely disgusting as well. I love this. I love the amount of effort that this guy has put into it. It's like, just it is fucking... genuinely incredible. But, like, you know, when you look like that, you would want to distract away from your face as much Sue, as possible, wouldn't you? Sue, Sue McDonald talking about hairy vaginas. Sue McDonald has put Mine Has Dreadlocks, which is <laughs> that amazing. That doesn't surprise because, me. Because it means that her vagina is culturally appropriated. <laughs> I bet her fanny looks like the bassist from Corn. <laughs> <laughs> she got Jim Emmerich in a headlock. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. Oh, <laughs> mate. <laughs> I love that. I'm, I'm just. Do you reckon? <laughs> do you reckon when you go down on her? Do you reckon you get to hear and it just goes boom, bat, boom, bat, ba, ba, da, boom, bat, boom. Go! Something takes a part of me. Well, has, your, has your fanny got a DJ? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, <laughs> Ross, Ross McCockburn has put Sue Bleed's reggae reggae sauce every month. Bloody <laughs> hell. Imagine that, Dragon's Den pitch. She's got a minge minge, so now she named it twice. Oh, <laughs> she's got a fucking jerk, cunt. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, fucking Duncan time when he finishes shagging, he's like, I'm out. <laughs> like, he's just not... <laughs> right. Oh, okay. fucking hell. Let's, oh, let's move on from this, dude. Let's go to uh, someone else here. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. This person looks like he's fucking asking us for change. <laughs> looks I like think... he's begging in an Indian market. <laughs> <laughs> what you can't see is the little cobra at the foot of his legs <laughs> like that he's trained to do a little dance. <laughs> oh, mate. Do you he's know got what? He's like a bangled leg. He's rolled oh. around on a skateboard. He's joined the French Foreign Legionnaire's disease. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It's 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 pictures like this that make me realise that it's been ages since I've donated to Macmillan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking of refugee camps, fuck me. I come very long way. My, my country is very war torn. Yeah, my country thought I was gay for pink turban. <laughs> they stoned me. Um, shit, it, man. Actually, what's, looking at it closely, is that is that an artist's impression of Sue's vag? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what religion is this turban from? Seeking dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you know what? Uh, Rochelle has pointed out, very true, that it looks like the boring guy at the beginning. Like oh, he's trying to up his game. Maybe, oh, imagine. Yes. If it is, imagine. I'm fucking delighted. Pass me that pink turban and let me get a different coloured T-shirt on. Lynn, get it off the kettle and put it on my head. <laughs> Uh, Aladdin post recession. <laughs> <laughs> Aladdin, but he had to pawn the lamp. <laughs> I, I don't think this is. If this is the guy, I don't think it's good enough. I want him to come back <laughs> again. I want him to wear a red top. I lose Drew's date the day after. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, no, that's... to be fair, we shouldn't be so harsh. You know, like, uh, like apparently uh, trans men can also experience period pains. So, you know, <laughs> we're clearly going through it at the moment. <laughs> clearly needs a big tub of ice cream. <laughs> oh, mate, he does, he does look like he's absolutely fuming because someone from Facebook buy, swap and sell didn't come round to collect the item. <laughs> yeah, but what was the item? That I pink turban. Jar, I think he's a jar full of his own shit. I think he's just upset because someone's kicked over this sand sculpture of a dog he was making outside boots. <laughs> he can't find the marble eyes. Do you know what? Those sand sculptures as well, right? I shouldn't say this, but they're always fucking shit. Well, they're like, fake. They're plastic. They're, they're they? not a real thing. Yeah, they just you never see plastic them at the start. Oh, yeah, I exactly. wonder why they all look the same. Yeah, it's a plastic mould that they just brush, yeah. So really? don't give them any money. Just kick them and go, get out of our country. We voted you out. <laughs> do, you, do you know what? To and be take fair, a plastic dog as well. To be fair, I actually have more respect for them now. I <laughs> like now the idea. Yeah, well, that's yeah. it. I like the idea that they are quite good at grifting rather than really shit at art. 
Yeah, oh, like those fair. floating ones. Do you know the ones who addressed as Yoda who are floating? What do you think of them ones? <laughs> oh, they're fucking cunts. We've, they can fuck right off. We've we've got somebody. We've got somebody who just uh, who, who who has videoed in. Oh, yeah, just give me ten yeah, seconds. Yeah. I just, before we go, I just want to say before we go, this guy does look like you put two p in his head outside Bernardo's, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he, he looks like the person that made Tom Hanks big. <laughs> <laughs> And many women small. It's, uh, it's the fucking, it's the great Zoltan. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> oh, right. fucking hell. <laughs> right. Okay. So if you want, uh, it, it, uh, there's still plenty of time to send pictures and stuff like that. If you want to send a picture, send one to, um, send one to uh, that number there. Send it via WhatsApp because if it's via text, it's in my fucking pocket, the phone. So if you text it, I don't see it. But if you WhatsApp it, it goes to the computer and we get to see it. Make sure you're holding a sign, a piece of paper, a scrap of cardboard uh, saying roast me. Or if you want to be video roasted, just uh, WhatsApp that number and say video roast me and we'll sort everything out for you like this person has done hello hello where is he hey mate what's what's your name my name's mike mike nice to meet you mike um mike sorry are you guys seeing someone on the screen right now yeah where <laughs> i mean Rob, you're going to regret this when you see him because it sounds highly racist and he's a lovely man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Mike. doing a camouflage show, you cunt! <laughs> Mike, it's nice to meet you, pal. Whereabouts is it you're from? Hey, it's uh, originally from Manchester, but I'm in Accrington you've... at the moment. No, oh, well, brilliant! Well. Fantastic. So, Manchester originally, Accrington now. What are you up to in Accrington? What are you doing? Uh, I've been on sort of lockdown furlough, nothing exciting for the last three months. So I thought I'd get on here, get on the uh, Friday night roast. Good I for love you, it. What's that painting behind you? Shit. Is that fucking rapping? Did you, paper, did, you, did, you did you do it, Mike? Did you do it? No, no, no I certainly didn't do it. Uh, it, 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 it no, it was a gift. It was it, oh, mate. It's... Somebody didn't like you, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> mate, it's fucking like I'm. I'm not being funny, but all paintings do not matter. That is a fucking <laughs> dreadful, <laughs> dreadful painting. It's fucking. Oh, let's have a look at it. What's going on? It looks like a lion in the middle of a tree. What's? <laughs> What's happening? Oh. It's not. It's not Sue's vagina, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Unbelievable, man. mate! That's... That's, that, that, that's, what, that, that, that's what I've got the camouflage on. I'm not that's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I am loving your look. It's such a combination. It's like you're taking your platoon to the beach. It could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you do know Park Life Festival is cancelled. Like, yeah. <laughs> you look like you're gonna try and invade Falaraki. <laughs> <laughs> mate that's so funny so how have you been keeping um like like sane during lockdown what kind of things have you been doing i've been playing pranks on neighbors uh <laughs> yeah. Ooh, talk to me I about that it, what I'm... what pranks have you been playing oh, oh, oh. some of it's actually quite prank like some of it's been quite brutal uh, all right blind. let's keep it light mate let's let's <laughs> <laughs> I tied up my neighbour's wife and assaulted her. <laughs> <laughs> prank! <laughs> and this um, funny prank called mass homicide. Um, so, so what? Give us an example. Give us an example first of all of a sort of light-hearted prank that you've done. Uh, I, I, I got a a, a three D printed uh, head of something and I stuck it in the bin. Fucking wow! Hell. Fucking That's hell! That's light-hearted. <laughs> We've got a special effects department for your fucking pranks. <laughs> what the fucking Lucasfilm here? <laughs> oh, my. And, and then, what what, the oh, go on, carry on. What was it the head of? Was it, it the it head of be... your fucking dick? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly. That's, that's, that's not fitting that in a bin. <laughs> I bet someone fucking moaned as well. I went, you've put that in the wrong coloured bin. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that goes uh, in the purple bin. Yeah, Don't put it so, in the brown bin without permission. So whose so whose head was it? It, it, it was just a, I tried to uh, print like an animal's head, so I put some ketchup and everything all over it, so it just like it's got blood all over it, and I just stuck it on top of the bin. <laughs> That's insanity, oh, man. man. That's what brilliant. did they do to deserve this? I need some entertainment, guys. <laughs> Mate, you Netflix. your <laughs> your light-hearted prank is the main scene in Godfather. <laughs> it's like, man, his light-hearted like, like, prank is like the end of fucking Carrie. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so dare I ask? Oh, I don't want to. I do want to know what's the going. worst prank. What's the most harsh prank you've done? Oh, he's putting stuff, uh, the, the next door has a hot tub, so we've put all sorts of stuff inside the hot tub, so when they opened it, it just went kapoo. Fuck it out. What did you put in the hot, like, dead animals and... No, no, no we, bought some, uh, we bought some chemicals off uh, Amazon. So it was like a little booby trap. Right. If you open, if you open it, it all drops in, and the fact that it drops in can, water... Can I just, just say, can I just say, mate? <laughs> can I just say, can I just say... You're wearing camouflage gear, there's dead animal heads in your bins, and you're ordering chemicals online. Your <laughs> postman thinks you're a terrorist. Mate, we're fucking red roasting the fucking Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are your demands? <laughs> oh, mate, this is your fucking... Your demands entertainment. <laughs> you're like the fucking Joker, you just want to see their fucking pool burn. Do you know what? Can I just say, uh, Mike, I love that painting behind you. Yeah, you're a great dude. It's, uh, it's yeah, a great wanna... painting. <laughs> Don't find out where I live and fucking set fire to me on yeah, a prank. The problem is, if Freddy finds a dead animal in his bin, he'll fucking eat it. <laughs> 3D printed or not. <laughs> Bit crunchy. <laughs> oh. Crunchy not. <laughs> Mike, so that is amazing. Sorry, go on. I, was going, I want to know what you do when you're not fucking terrorising the street. What do you do as a job? Oh, it's, it's going to bore you guys. I'm a Go program for it, manager. Man. You're a you programme manager? Yes. What, what, what does that mean? <laughs> do you organise the chubba chubs in the toilets or is it... <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit weird now, I have to say it out loud. I build, I build planes for a living. Fuck you off! Build, you build planes! Yes. That's fucking insane. Hell. Like, right, whoa, okay, so you're a fucking, uh, look, right, I didn't expect the guy who puts dead animals in the bins, it explains why it's so technical though, it explains the level of detail you've gone to in your pranks, you're like an engineer, you've got the craft end to you, that's why you go to that extra fucking level. But Fair. the thing is, is if there's one thing that we have learnt about um about mike so far it's that in a nice way he has an appetite for destruction <laughs> which, <laughs> which is not what you fucking want from an aircraft engineer no it's not all did you design do you design for just like malaysian air is that it <laughs> <laughs> do you do do you do any private work did you do the leicester city owners helicopter <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, you, did, oh, you, did, me, you didn't do uh, you, did, you, you didn't do Kobe's fucking private jet, did you? <laughs> oh my god! Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> I do was not too soon, man. You know the barbers are open. You can sort that beard out. <laughs> the beard is sorted. It's perfectly trimmed, mate. Okay, mate. all right. Maybe maybe asking for to do another go. <laughs> <laughs> Have another run over it. <laughs> If he says it's perfectly trimmed, it's fucking perfectly trimmed. Yeah, no, it's perfectly Do fine. not fuck yeah. with a no, guy. No, no, he's got access thinks... to aircraft as well. He's going to be fucking dropping like animals out of the sky on us, isn't he? <laughs> Unbelievable. I love, I love him though because the Mate, thing you're is, a fucking lad. I love this. He's, he's like, this is totally normal. Like, like this is a normal way to. I, I, here's a question, right? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you are single. Uh, or if not, you have a partner that's too afraid to leave. Um, <laughs> and she's, oh, he's a good have guy. Have seen this comment from Billy Brooker? He's okay if he loses his job and in lockdown because ISIS will employ him. <laughs> As their prankster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about that level of prank. Like, hey, 9-11 was a great prank. Let's get Mike oh. in. He knows some good ones. Um, it got so, so many views. <laughs> are you, you're, not, you're not masturbating, are you, Mike? 
definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of joke. Yeah, it's all dirty to me. It's all dirty. I was going to say, you can get magic, my fun, and then... Oh... Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh mate, oh, help! I'm the girlfriend locked in the basement. So you, <laughs> if you're the girlfriend locked in the basement, you're on your fucking own. This is to be to be fair. That would explain why your fanny's got dreadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you live with, Mike? Who, who's who's in the house? Who who did you used to live with before the incident? <laughs> <laughs> no, I live alone. Live alone. Yeah, yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> what? <laughs> How long have you been single for, Mike? I'm actually not single. Oh, you're not? Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, we assume that you are. Uh, who is it that you are partnered with? Okay. Uh, she's called Catherine. Uh, yeah. Shout out, Catherine. I, lo I love the way he's keeping details tight. That's a good plan. So, <laughs> giving nothing to work with. Just Catherine, done. How long have you been together? Uh, four years now. Cool. And you don't and, live um... together. Oh, well done. I mean, to Thank be you. fair, to be fair, that's <laughs> as much Catherine's decision as anyone else's. Yeah, yeah. and the CPSs. Like, he can't, yeah. he can't move out till the tag comes off. <laughs> poor Catherine's looked around your house and seen loads of fucking prosthetic limbs covered in ketchup. Yeah, no, she was fine with that. It was the artwork that put her off moving in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Sweet, man. So, so when do you go back then? When do you go back to work? When's your like back date uh at, at the moment there's no official back date but i think i might go in on monday uh <laughs> i think i might just go in Fucking yeah, no. back. yeah the, I just to be the actual the actual official back date was like a month ago but his employers <laughs> are so fucking afraid of him they're like you come back when you want my it, it just fine. gets a, it just gets an email every other week like are you um thinking of coming back any no, no, time, don't be... It's all right, I've just printed a cardboard cutout of myself, life-size, and I've just it work. <laughs> I so wouldn't put it behind you, man. He's going to be doing a full weekend at Bernie's with some guy he's murdered in his job. <laughs> just sat at the desk typing buttons. <laughs> oh, my God. So, what do you like to do for, for fun? Do you play any sports? Hang out uh, down I by the canal? Are you... <laughs> Uh, I used to box and I fly as well, so it's quite nice you to used, get out. You fly. used to box, of course yeah. you fucking did. Like, uh, uh, fly away. <laughs> like, fly. Like, fly. Yeah, no, I was just doing a little. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got, oh, I got the joke. He got the joke. He just wanted to make sure that you knew it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> really wanted to hammer it in. I love this guy so much. Oh, so, what right, do you fly? You what's, your, um, what's your aircraft? Uh, it's usually uh, uh, very light aircraft. Uh, by that, I mean things like the PA-28. You know what that is? Like yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. I know, yeah. And where yeah. do you go when you're flying? Where do you go? <laughs> Getting higher like a P-28. Uh, anywhere in the UK, as long as you don't cross international waters. Can you just go wherever you want? If you, you wanted plan? to fly to Swindon, could you do it? Why would you want it? <laughs> yeah, that's the point, yeah. That's why it's never come up. Not much to see in Swindon, though. Nah, I don't know. Much. I don't know why you're amazed at this, Rob. Considering you can drive to Swindon, <laughs> like <laughs> no, but I thought there'd just be like more rules about flying. I didn't think you could just like go for a fly. I thought you had to like book That's a route true. or something. Do you have to check in on with the airport in advance? You, you do have. To, you do have to plan. Uh, there you uh, go. And, and, and let the incoming aircraft, uh, incoming uh, 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 site, know that you are coming and, uh, and what time you plan to be there. Right, yeah, yeah, you can't just like rock up an airport lies. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, I don't reckon any airports have refused your planning, have they? Yeah, just like, I'm coming in now. All right, we'll cancel everything else. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking mental, Mike, and we can't be asked that WH Smith's being fucking bombarded with horse heads. <laughs> 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 so we'll just let him land wherever the fuck he was. <laughs> fucking put it in the car park, why not? Uh, <laughs> holy shit, uh, man. What do you... Um, what do you like doing as uh, as like hobbies? What here's here's a question. I've already asked you the hobbies thing, really. Here's a question: uh, If you're at home and you've got Netflix and you've got the remote, what are you watching? Oh, weird. Uh, what's on Netflix? See, that's the thing. I don't. I'm, I'm a saddle. Watch? I'm a saddle, really. Uh, when it comes to Netflix, I just put it on for background noise. Well, what do you watch sense. then? Like, forget Netflix. What do you watch TV wise to to make you chill out? Because it's uh, not working. Like snuff, snuff on and... <laughs> <laughs> Just watch his uh, videos from the Vietnam War on a loop. 
Yeah, there's two screens. One of them's like fucking horrific things. The other one is punk. Yeah, there is two screens. <laughs> <laughs> You've got me sussed out. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Jesus Christ! Do you? Uh, is there anything the, you want? I, I suppose the new Hamilton thing that's on Disney Plus is it's good, isn't it? I've watched that. Ah, oh, I don't fucking rate it. I don't like it. I don't like oh, musicals. I've you don't. You don't like Hamilton, uh, Rob. Why is that? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, to be honest, I don't, I don't think they should be allowed in theatres. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. I just fucking hate. Uh, I just fucking hate musicals. The shit in it. No, no, not I for me. It's... Hey, if if people enjoy it, enjoy it. But like, there's uh, some of the rhymes in it made my head hurt. Like it's real, like cat and hat sort of rhymes. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So one thing I want to know before before you go: How did you and Catherine meet? Where did you meet? Oh, we, went we, went, we went out a nightclub in Blackpool. Uh... And then a nightclub in Blackpool. Fucking oh, and, hell. and she just finished the shift dancing, or <laughs> tough night on the poles? <laughs> no, definitely not. No, we just met. We just met out and about. We decided we we're going to go for a walk on the beach later on uh, in the day, daytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, When you yeah, finish just... spinning these waltzes, love, come and <laughs> have a little meal with me. I'm going to 3D print you some fucking clothes, babe. You just walk around in your underwear. <laughs> so, um, so you met, and then. And then just sort of hit it off. Where, yeah. where's, she, where's she from? Uh, she's from Boston. From where? Boston. Lancashire. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, no, yeah. From, yeah. It was a dealer. Yeah, I hope you like three D printed Coke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thanks, you guys. are brilliant. You're, we you're, love you you're so much, Mike. Man. And, like a good laugh. I've really enjoyed it, mate. Like, thanks yeah. for coming on. Thanks See you really later, Mike. I've enjoyed being on. Take care, guys. Good man. Oh, Catch good you later. Guy. See, you later. See you later. Bye, Mike. Bye. Take that fucking oh, picture down. Jeez. He does. He is. <laughs> to be fair, he is doing well for a former child soldier, isn't he? Um, <laughs> I noticed how you waited until he left. I before. just thought of that. I know I feel like such a shit house now. <laughs> you are, get, yeah, him, like... get him back up. No, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Amazing. Like, it's just like, wow. What a, a, an evil genius that man is. He, fit, he... As, fit as well. Yeah, it was hard to go at his looks too much, wasn't it? Because, like, he was a good looking dude. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, luckily, his personality was terrifying. So, we had plenty <laughs> to work with. Do you know what? Do you know what? It's really easy for him to take us, like, calling insults and shit because he knows that he could kick the living fuck out of all of us. <laughs> so, anything that we say is just completely fucking redundant because he Off knows he's back the on it. shit out of us. Off the um, box back. <laughs> should we um should we should we get the next one up yeah let's see another person oh, uh, oh well, no. like are we going back to like are we going back to photos of ourselves ready it, <laughs> it looks like it looks like me as a pokemon that's just evolved how has he got your dick coming out of his mouth <laughs> <laughs> you should see where i'm going in <laughs> <laughs> there's no way it's that fucking long that is the totality of it Imagine if it was. Imagine if you if, if your dick was so inclined that it could like you could put it up up the bum or whatever, and it would make its entire way around and just poke out the mouth like a little well, tongue. Like, Imagine like Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Freddy if you had a dick that could poke all the way out of your belly fat. <laughs> what do you reckon your dick looks like? <laughs> <laughs> the last time you saw it, it was in like a courtroom sketch. <laughs> What do I reckon my dick looks like? Yeah. yeah. Um, if you had to guess. So. from you, I mean, you've, I'm sure you've touched it, like, you know, with one of those claw grabbers that you pick up litter with. Yeah, my... I mean, it was like that fucking video. Do you know the Lionel Richie one where he's trying to feel the face? So... Hello. <laughs> Is it peen you're looking for? <laughs> my dick looks like a sad dolphin. <laughs> Like, you know, like Shamu, if it flopped over. Yeah, yeah, so it sort of flops over like that, and it's kind of got a little fucking... Because cause my dick skin isn't right, so... <laughs> I didn't, well, what I, do I, you I, mean? Oh, you can't dick. just say my dick skin isn't right. In what so, way is it not right? There's loads of ways it could be wrong. I need to... I, I haven't got any. No, I'm joking. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine? That's what's wrong. It's disgusting. 
getting a hand job. Like, ah! um, oh, right. There was just no skin on it. It was oh, just raw. Just organ. Yeah. Have you ever seen that uh, that little animated Pepper Army character? <laughs> <laughs> it would look like the alien that comes out of the chest. <laughs> it, it looks like a cheese string made of meat. Uh, oh, meat string. <laughs> it just peels off like that. Anyway, right. So I need to have a frenuloplasty. Um, which is right. where basically I've got um too much dick meat. So so I've got I've got too much I've got too much meat. Oh uh, right, the problem is right, my dick's too big. No, I, at no point did I say this is literally what the doctor said. Too much dick meat. Too right? much dick meat. It's not the only part of you that's had too much meat, you fat cunt. On reflection, it was a sausage roll that had been stuffed down my that's pants. It. Uh, so you've got a fucking penis mix grill. Is that what you're telling us? So He's got a fucking rack of ribs down his bell end. Man versus pubes challenge. So basically, right, I've got too much meat. Do you piss pate? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I fucking comes foie gras. <laughs> so right, um, there's 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 too much there's too, there's too much, much meat. Dick meat. There's too much meat, and there's not enough like sausage casing. <laughs> so, so it looks like a brain, like a fucking. So is it like brain. squeezed and bulbous and like what? So is it, is it like squeezed and bulbous and like... No. Is, so... it, is it like when you forget to put a fork in a sausage before you cook it? No. So you know how your like dick has... Your dick skin has more slide than mine. <laughs> wow. So, more so, slide? More like... So it can like... Rock, like can, so, right. So it, you've got... A foreskin, but he can't go over the top. Is it? Is that the problem? Oh, I haven't got a foreskin. Right, I've got one. I've got a normal, intact dick. <laughs> I've got a whole dick, just a it whole normal. Like Freddy's got a three skin. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> right. So I'm trying. Like I never thought I'd say this, Freddy, but I'm trying to picture your dick. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're sounding more like your mum every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's trying to imagine it. Was she trying to fold it, find it through your belly folds? <laughs> So, but to be fair, I only pay for the time once she's found it. <laughs> Literally, so, the second the second she finds it, the clock starts. Oh, um, in fact, right, if, if you want to know what a dick with too much meat and not, not, so, not enough sausage casing looks like, look what's coming out of this cunt's mouth. Right? That's <laughs> it, innit? So, no, right. So, basically, what I need is I need a frenuloplasty, which is where they do an incision down the skin and then they do like like dick origami basically and I'm sorry like... no what right what you're describing is a transitioning <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I, I and and they they sort of stitch it back up and then the stitches dissolve and i have to spend the rest of my life with a fucking penis that looks like frank ribbery <laughs> Oh, uh, so right. So your foreskin can't go over the top of your dick. Is that it? No, it it can't. Like it's 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 the opposite of that. Kind right, of. It can't go down. Yeah. Oh man, it must be fucking howling under there. You are sorry. Deca it oh, must no, be no, fucking no, no, mingling no, no, under no, no, like decades no, of dick sorry, cheese built up. Sorry, when I say that it can't go down, I mean it can go down, but it's uncomfortable. Right. Okay. So you have a little tight time in the shower. Yeah, but I think as well, I think it might be psychosomatic. Because... <laughs> you just got to believe you've got a bigger foreskin. <laughs> no, no, because... because You need the I placebo got, effect on your dick. I got my I got my dick sucked once. I can't believe I'm saying this. I got my dick sucked once. It's all right. I already, have, I already don't believe this story. We, 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 all, we only had 40,000 people watch this last, uh, last week. So that's not that no, so many. Tell us more about your weird um, dick. <laughs> it's all right. None of them wanted to fuck you anyway. So so listen. Right. <laughs> I've had a couple of messages. Um, so, yeah, no, so, Sue gets handsy when she, when she drinks, uh, doesn't she? So, so listen, right. Um, 
I've forgotten what I was going to fucking say. Yeah, I can do it, but it's uncomfortable. But I think it might be psychosomatic because mm-hmm. one time I was getting a blowjob off a girl that had a tongue piercing and something caught and I literally pissed. Like, like blood was everywhere. And so I think oh, there that. might be... There might be something psychosomatic. No, about... like if you just if you get nicked down there, then it does. Yeah, I've I've done that. Like, uh, yeah, my ex gave me a blowy and came up looking like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> the bloker. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> oh, uh, right, we've got more time. I'm really sorry for this guy who we've just ignored and talked about. We've decided... it just looks too much like you. To, like it looks like you with eyes. That's the difference, isn't it? It looks like the wrestler version of you, but the only thing he's wrestling is his own insecurities. It looks like if Popeye had cans of corned beef instead of spinach. Well, weirdly enough, that's what people call Freddy's dick. <laughs> Popeye. <laughs> too much dick skin. Too much dick. Well, it's too tight. Oh, my God. Uh, TMDS. Mate. I've got TMDS. <laughs> but, but... Too much dick, mate. I, but I make up for it in creativity and uh, originality in the bedroom. Oh, so, I don't um, want to know. Do not want to know. Like, well, it's nice to know that there's one place that you are original and creative, Freddie. You know, because it's definitely not on fucking stage, is it? If you if you've <laughs> ever wanted, if you ever wanted to see a man box a vagina, <laughs> <laughs> mate, I bet it's been fucking short rounds for you. You get gassed pretty quickly, don't you? <laughs> After fucking ten seconds, he sat down in the corner, like getting a fucking ice bucket on him, spitting it out of the water. Right. We've got somebody that's videoed in. I'm really sorry to this guy, uh, but we've got somebody that's videoed in, and we're going to finish with this guy. Yeah, so and I'm, I'm also sorry about your degenerative tongue disease. Whatever the fuck that is, it's not okay. <laughs> right, let's get, let's, get, let's get this guy on. All right. Hi, Here mate. Is. Hello. <laughs> Hi, you're live on the Roast Comedy Show. Tendo. If you're watching the roast, turn it down in the background. We can what, li- the f- what is this guy what, doing? What's going on here? Literally have we, have we video us- called my nan? <laughs> <laughs> He's literally showing us his weed like a bad lad. It's like, yeah, hey. Uh, Mul- smoking doobie. Mulholland's Mul- 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 getting the high as fuck. And he looks like a fucking IT teacher. There's no need to fucking... Right, let's, let's see if we can have a look. Um... Oh, that looks like dreadful weed, to be fair. Yeah, like, Jesus Christ, we... whoever sold you that has had you over a fucking barrel, lad. <laughs> Fuck me! Mate, got, I'd, like, I'd a lovely put... bag of oregano. I'd, I'd put that in a bolognese. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> um... You put fucking everything in a bolognese. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's, let's have a look joke. at the picture. Let's have a look at the picture of this guy. He forgets, by the way, he forgets that I've seen a picture of him whilst he was waiting to go live. So I already know what he looks like. Yeah. Hello? Oh, okay. fucking trainer socks inside. All right. I love, I love how his missus is next to him in a dressing gown. Like, why do you do this? Yeah, right. Why Let's shit can this. Let's, Let's fucking shit can this. this. Thank you for that. Thanks. Thanks. You were really great. What a fucking tedious cunt that mong was. <laughs> what a fucking penis. Look, I'll smoke weed. You're a fucking... Right. There are a lot of words I'm not allowed to say anymore that describe that person who was just on. I hope you're very proud of yourself because your mum isn't. He's too much dick meat. That's what he is. He's too much dick meat. Speaking of too much dick meat, has she come on with a fucking model of Freddy's sausage? She? I'm going. <laughs> oh look, that's what that's her pronouns now. Mate, <laughs> she's holding. She, she's holding a Freddy five thousand. <laughs> why the long face? Oh my god! Why the why the mo- <laughs> <laughs> I love the bread and cut out and such an awful promo moment then. Ah, I love oh, the way that she's funny. like she's she's kept her Man U badge on show just in case we weren't sure that she was a fucking cunt. Ah, see, uh, Paul York is asking. So, Freddie, how does yours compare? Uh, <laughs> how does mine compare to that? Um, it, Slightly more I, meat. I can't see the. Um, I can't see where it starts, uh, but I imagine it's a little bit bigger and slightly wider. <laughs> well, that's very honest of you, Freddy. That's very, that's very honest of you. Very fair. Only like, slightly wider. I've got quite a wide pe. I've got a girthy dick. <laughs> Shout out, Fen Petal, uh, Fen Settle for the donation. Fucking good on you, lad. And like, you know, uh, this person who clearly is, is this like is this actually our first celebrity guest 
Like, is this the first one we've had on? Because it's lovely to see Noel Fielding. <laughs> Great British Bake Off fucking Noel Fielding over here. I love how uh, Lily said looks like uh, the curtain in an Amsterdam brothel. Yeah, but, yeah, but, it but in the look, day shift. It, it doesn't look like the stripper in an Amsterdam brothel. Yeah, no, like it doesn't like one in the afternoon. Means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my days. Um do you know what? I don't get why she's like so serious. Do you reckon like well it's gotta be her dildo, hasn't it? <laughs> Jamie <Jerry, laughs> Moore's got a nose like a log flume. <laughs> <laughs> uh mate, I'm pretty sure I queued up for that once. Oh uh, man, I loved it I loved watching the Jamaican bobsled team go down that. <laughs> If you if you look to the side of her eye, you can see a priority queue for disabled children. <laughs> Looks like a fucking Austrian ski slope. <laughs> it look it looks like. Do you remember that thing on Bruce's Price is Right, where it was a little mountaineer that used to go on <laughs> <with> your knee? <laughs> <laughs> I want to put a little man on the end of his nose and guess how much bread is. You'd lay your thing. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking hell. Uh, 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 you got face like a fucking doorstop. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> so you can fucking charge evil, can evil over a go off that, innit? Oh, Get over God. fucking 14 buses. Do you reckon that dildo's like a level through up, Tony too? <laughs> Do you reckon she just sticks it up there? Sniffs it like poppers. <laughs> oh, mate, that is... Do you know what, though? To be fair, <laughs> Michael, Michael Ariola has said she looks like lesbian Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. Um, it's like into cats. Yeah. <laughs> On the seventh day, he brought board games. <laughs> <laughs> and cats. Yeah. Um, and the recipe for a fucking Victoria sponge. Um, <laughs> Dean Coglin says every time she does the backstroke, the Jaws theme comes on. <laughs> I'm not uh, sure mine's working, Brennan. Uh, oh, is it not? I can hear him. I can't. Can't hear him for me. All right. Well, I can, and he's, you know, like I'll, 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 trans, I'll, I'll pass on for you. Speak in sign language, Brennan. How do you, do, how do you do massive fucking nose in sign language? <laughs> <laughs> Mark Lepic has put fuck sharing, fuck sharing gear with her. <laughs> oh, we've zoomed in. I thought we were zooming she in. She just part him in by the kilo. <laughs> oh, mate. Do you know what, though? Is fair play to women during lockdown that have cut their own hair. Because look at that fucking fringe. I oh, know. She looks like she's in fucking Kasabian. And to be fair, her eye looks like she's been hit by the fucking singer. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is Brennan's first profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> It's Brennan! It's fucking little oh, fucking baby. black waistcoat! <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, right, we're gonna we're gonna end it there. That has been a fucking great oh. fun. Thank you um to everybody <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everybody that has submitted a photo uh, for uh, Mike who videoed in, uh, not the other person that videoed in to show us how hard he was. Um, uh, but everybody that's so taken the time, ev everyone that's taken the time to comment and share and to join in with the roast, we've had some fucking hilarious ones. Especially um, the people who sent in photos. You are fucking legends. We love we've absolutely got, all of you. We we've genuinely got a side do. to side. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my god i can't oh, even you do look like you're both in my in my, like lost campesino <laughs> <laughs> oh my god look we're new to in the long <laughs> ones together <laughs> if you <laughs> <laughs> i'm done i'm done in. we both That's... look like we fought over to who's gonna be like the heir to the throne <laughs> that's so fucking funny <laughs> oh my god right 
So if you have enjoyed this, uh, thank you for everyone that's contributed, sent us a picture, videoed in, you've commented with your roast. We've had a really fun show, as we always do. Um, if if you uh, if you want, then we will be back doing this again at uh, at 9 p.m. next Friday. Please tell your friends and family because loads of people are enjoying this, and we're slowly building every time. Last week we had our most ever views because Rob wasn't here, and if we can beat. <laughs> If we can beat 50k this week, he's gone for good. So, <laughs> Freddie, I've just seen your jumper. Was that the original cover for the country of Colombia? <laughs> Do you know what? I put it on and it's really comfortable, but it does kind of look like those pieces of material that you put over your car windscreen to stop them from freezing over. <laughs> that fits nice too. Uh, so... So anyway, um, quickly, very quickly before we go, have you got anything that you want to plug, Brennan? Um, I would love to plug uh, Sue McDonald's vagina with um, just something that we wouldn't have to look at it with. And also just my own Instagram. Uh, it's at Brennan Reese. Like it now. Do it now. Click on it now. <laughs> good pitch man good uh, pitch. yeah sue, sue mcdonald's dreadlock vagina is actually going to be live at the um culture arts cafe doing a reggae solo so that's uh, no she's uh, actually joined slipknot now so she can do wait and bleed <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh mate Rob, what do you want to put? What do you uh, want to put? Well, if you've enjoyed the show and you want to chuck us some money, there's a donation link knocking around. Uh, like, you know, we're, we're not working <laughs> with comedians. Give us some money. God for God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my handle at Rob Mulholland down below and I've got a comedy special available on Hot Water On Demand or wherever you're watching this you'll be able to find my comedy special search for Rob Mulholland to be to fail so, uh, and uh, yeah see you next week and in terms of me you can follow me on TikTok uh, fuck the pair of you I'm on TikTok I'm a 13 year old non. girl and you're a nonce and you're a bitch of the Chinese government <laughs> uh, so you can follow me on there or any social media uh, YouTube is probably quite good you can just type my name into there and you'll find me YouTube um, is good not your channel but YouTube in general <laughs> <laughs> and also if you want to see Freddie's dick it's on the new social media app Dick Doc um, <laughs> <laughs> where doctors look at it too if, much meat if you do want to see my penis it will be on the 2247 Mersey Rail train being rubbed on all the fucking seats <laughs> so I get my money's worth the fucking prick wankers uh, uh, yeah very quickly uh, make sure that you share this tell your friends text in for next week roast us in next week we get loads of people sending pictures midweek of creative stuff that they've done so please join in with that and we'd love to uh, uh, have you uh, thank you ever so much to mark and finally if you've enjoyed this then please donate we've had a couple of people donate already uh during the show thank you ever so much for that um but if you donate even if it's just a few quid it helps us to keep the channel going it it, it basically covers costs and things like that because we give it to you for free every friday and i know it feels like you've donated a bit by donating your time watching it and donating you know your comments and things donating the really, time really we're fucking entertaining it. these cons give us some fucking money with you with a it. All right, all right, Bob Geldof. <laughs> I promise I won't give it to anyone in need except me. R remember, 50k and he's gone. 50k <laughs> and he's done. Uh, so we will see you again next Friday. Thank you ever so much for watching. Bye bye. Bye later. Bye.